So, following the release of Westworld uh, Episode 1 in Season 3, Variety is reporting that its premiere is down 57% from last season. Maybe the audience remembered how last season ended? Ladies and gentlemen, this and foes, welcome to the Culture Casino! So, with the show opening 57% down from its original audience, Variety is telling us that the show was competing with the Democratic debate. Ironically, I believe it was competing with another Democratic debate two years ago, in some form or fashion. It could be wrong. But, reading from the article, the Season 3 premiere drew 901,000 total viewers in the live broadcast on HBO, which represented the 57% drop from last season's premiere. Last season apparently drew 2.1 million viewers in its premiere for live viewing. The show's lowest viewership tally to date uh, was the 901,000 people watching it. Overall, Across all platforms, and including streaming, it looks like it scored 1.7 million viewers, which is very, very low for a show like this. In fact, I believe the last episode from last year, I'm right, I'm reading it now, scored 1.6 million viewers overall. So, it's starting a tick above where it left off last season. That's not good. Um, I'm not sure that I'm not sure that this is going to recover. Um, I think that the show sitting at 2.1 million, no, excuse me, 1.7 million isn't anywhere close to the 13.2 million viewers that watched season one. So this may not be a, a good place to start for Westworld. Anyway, so I thought that was interesting after we talked about this the other day. Um, also, in the news, we have uh, some recommendations for what you can do with all the free time that you're going to have sitting at home doing nothing. Apparently, uh, Netflix Party is a new app that allow you allows you to uh, get together with your friends and remotely watch the same program together. Uh, apparently, uh, this is available for um, be, well, or I should say, it was available through Chrome by using an extension called Netflix Party, and it gives you the opportunity to set that up so that you can actually watch. A program simultaneously with your people and still be able to uh, I guess stay at home so it's kind of neat I guess kind of fun uh, you will have to go through some steps to do that and the this USA Today article will explain it to you um, this article was put together today so on the 18th so you should be able to figure that out pretty quickly um, some really unique news coming from uh, the Disney Parks blog uh, which is a uh, usually a, a shill-tastic th place to look for Disney news. Uh, but uh, Thomas Smith, who's actually a decent writer for them, uh, put together a bunch of articles uh, on the 18th um, today uh, talking about where their parks are. They are distributing um, tons and tons of food into the local communities and food banks. So they're doing this in Paris, Disneyland. They're doing it in Florida, and they're doing it in California as well. Um, these... Obviously, the people have been hit pretty hard in those areas. Well, pretty much everywhere. But instead of letting the food go to waste that Disney has accumulated and stockpiled, they are distributing it uh, to these local uh, local communities. So that's fantastic news. So this article is also pretty well written. Um, in fact, all four of them are uh, that are basically the same article, just for different countries. So it's, it, that's pretty good. 
And finally, the last thing of the day, which is the thing that I want to spend some time on, is that um, the Times published an article today about the current global issue that we're dealing with. And they cite... Well, I'll just read the article because I'm not going to... I don't think paraphrasing this is going to be valuable. So, Chinese scientists destroy proof of virus in December. Chinese laboratories identified a mystery virus as a highly infectious new pathogen by late December last year, but they were ordered to stop tests, destroy samples, and suppress the news, a Chinese media outlet has revealed. You wonder why they're expelling our people. I shall continue reading. A regional health official in Wuhan, center of the outbreak, demanded the destruction of the lab samples that established the cause of unexplained viral pneumonia on January 1. China did not acknowledge there was human-to-human -human transmissions until more than three weeks later. The detailed revelations by Kaixin Global, a respected independent publication, provided the clearest evidence yet of the scale of the cover-up in the crucial early weeks when the opportunity was lost to control the outbreak. Now there's more to this story uh, obviously because the Times has a paywall up I could not get more of it but clearly you can see why our journalists were expelled and why the propaganda machine has been turned up to 11 uh, trying to distance themselves from the culpability that they have for this being such a worldwide problem. And based on some other news that has been leaking, it sounds like they're still having a problem with this despite the propaganda that they've submitted that they are beyond it. It's probably also supported by the fact that all of their movie theaters are still closed. 70,000 of them. Anyway, while we all take this extra time at home, uh... Spend it well. Spend it doing things with your loved ones if you can. Uh, spend it playing board games and, and playing cards, as I mentioned in a previous video. Uh, spend it doing things that are constructive. Build a project. Um, design something together. There's so much that we don't take advantage of because of our reliance on screen entertainment, on our reliance on the soccer practices that we go to, or little league games or any of those things and those are wonderful ways to spend our time to be sure but spend this time with your family spend it on the phone with your family if you can't be with them in person in person you can use google hangouts you can use uh, your iphone and you can uh, you can you can message back and forth or use facetime just take this time use it it's an opportunity uh, it's not it's not the end of the world. It's not a catastrophe. So spend this time with your family. They'll pay off dividends like you can't believe. You might even, you know, break down some barriers that, that have divided you because of what our culture has been doing to itself for the last five or six years. Maybe you can work on some relationship repair <laughs> because, believe it or not, we agree on far more than we disagree on. So anyway, just a couple of words there. I hope everybody is staying safe, staying healthy, wash your hands, do it properly, and uh, try to have as great a day as you possibly can. Um, thanks for spending a few minutes here. I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'll just say thanks for stopping by Culture Casino, where when the house wins... We all win.